It has already been a deadly summer on West Michigan waters, and when the weather gets warmer on a pretty consistent basis, the lakes will be filled with boaters. That's right, and all summer long, Wood TV is bringing you life-saving information for staying safe in the water. And today we've asked Sergeant Corey Hunt from the Allegan County Sheriff's Department to come in and talk about some upcoming boater safety classes that they're offering. Yeah, so welcome today. Good morning, thanks. Good morning. So what do you cover in a boating safety class? It just seems like there's so much potential sure. information, well, important information. Well, there certainly is a lot of information. Uh, we kind of like to say this is like uh, getting your uh, driver's license for a boat and for being on right. the water. So it's a real comprehensive course. It usually takes us six to seven hours to really cram all the information in. Um, we cover everything from the legal aspects of getting your boat legal and registered and getting it on the water. We talk about, you know, getting your boat to the water safely. Mm -hmm. And then once you get on the water, we talk about, you know, what are kind of the rules of the road? Um, what are the, the street signs on the, on the water? You know, we have our buoy system out there. What do those things mean? Um, we try to cover all that. Uh, we also talk about uh, very important things such as safety equipment. What safety mm -hmm. equipment's necessary? Um, and how do you use it? it well, exactly. <laughs> you know, how, how does a life jacket fit? You know, how do you choose the appropriate size or type of life jacket? Um, we talk about other, other safety equipments, you know, uh, that belongs on a boat. Fire extinguishers, uh, uh, flares, uh, noise producing, uh, like a whistle or a horn, mm -hmm. um, in case you have trouble. Uh, we also then go right on into talking about other safety items such as boating under the influence of alcohol and the effects of alcohol in the boating community. Right. Um, what to do if you uh, have an accident. Uh, some environmental concerns. We kind of touch on everything during this course. Mm -hmm. Now I know we have you know all the Great Lakes here and we're very lucky to yeah. be out on the water all summer long and those that do have boats sometimes when they're out with a the family they let the kid jump in, yeah. take the steering wheel. That's not always the safest thing to do and you do have to be certified so who can be certified sure well it uh, Michigan's law is somewhat complicated as far as it has some age brackets as and some horsepower limits on uh, on the boat who can drive but for all intents and purposes on a, on a, on a regular boat uh, anyone over the age of 16 can pretty much run uh, that boat without restrictions mm -hmm. um, less than that there are some requirements for adult supervision and boater safety registration and boater safety certification. Now when we get to personal watercraft, the jet skis that have become so popular, right. um, there are a few more restrictions. Um, there we really stress boater safety and in order for anyone to operate a uh, personal watercraft that's born after the end of 1978, they have to have this course. Now youngsters cannot operate a PWC until they're 12 years of age. 12 and 13 year olds once they've gotten their boater safety certificate, they can operate with an, an adult supervisor with them. Once they re reach 14 with their boater safety certificate, they then can take over driving on their own mm -hmm. and uh, have free reign. Why is that so important? I mean, as in Allegan County, you know, we've got a lot of waterways, yeah. but what do you see as a common problem? Well. The two areas that we really hit on for safety, and, and the reason we touch on these is because this is what we see when we have right. tragic incidents. Mm -hmm. uh, we really stress alcohol and, and not using alcohol while on the water. Right. You know, the few boating accidents that we do have tend to be very serious in nature. The injuries are serious. And so oftentimes alcohol is a factor in those boating accidents. The other thing that we really stress is wearing your personal flotation device, your life jacket. Have one that's size appropriate, that, that fits your children, fits adults, mm -hmm. and use them. They won't do you any good if you're not using them. Right, absolutely. So you've got a couple opportunities coming up. Why don't you tell us about them? Yeah, we do have a couple classes yet uh, left this year. We've got one coming up uh, Saturday, July 9th, uh, in cooperation with Otsego Public Library. We're going to be doing a class over in Otsego. Uh, there is some registration information that you'll be getting. Um, also, another one coming up uh, Wednesday, July 13th, and Thursday, July 14th, over at the uh, in conjunction with Saugatuck Yacht Club over in Saugatuck, one of our big boating communities. Uh, that is a two two day class. It, we break it down to three hours mm -hmm. each evening and get it done in two days. Nice, some great, great information. Great information. There's a lot of information out there, so this there is a is. great time to learn all about it right here this summer. Yeah, thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. Sharing the message. Staying safe on the water. We'll be right back. That's West.